Welcome back to the Cool Fear channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Above Collector. The information on this channel is time for all collectors and not children. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the Diamond Select, Marvel Select, Comic Book Thor figure. If you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Shout out and thank you to channel sponsor Entertainment Earth. Check out my Entertainment Earth affiliate link down in the description below to check out some cool figures and help support the channel. Also, shout out and thank you to my friends over at Diamond Select for sending me over this figure for me to shoot and review for you all. Jumping on into this review, guys, yes, we are taking a look at the Marvel Select comic book Thor figure. This is a phenomenally sculpted and detailed figure. But we will take a look at all that when we do take a closer look at him. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at all the amazing, great things that he does come with. Well, what you see is what you get, essentially, guys. Um, besides Mjolnir, he does come with one other accessory or thing in his packaging. And that is, of course, a base. And in true Marvel Select fashion, they go all out with the base. As you can see, it is very highly detailed. Very nicely done and painted as you can see. It is not just the same pattern repeated over and over again. We do have some breakage, some crackage, some missing pieces right here. Some holes in the actual structure. Uh, we have one hole right here. We have some different paint apps as well. We have whites, we have grays, we have blacks. Very well nicely done and detailed. Even flipping it over to the top, we can see individual crevices and rocks right here and stones from white to black to gray to washed and all sorts of fun different colors. Even on the front panels right here, we have different colored uh, blocks of stone right there. And the really cool part about this base is that if you really wanted to, you can mount it to your wall. It has mounting holes right here so you can put some screws or some thumbtacks in your walls and you can hang this guy up and have Thor up on a ledge slash balcony or just overlooking all your other figures. So yeah, guys, besides that base, uh, yeah, you just get Mjolnir with this guy. But like I said, he is highly detailed and comes with some amazing sculpt work. So why don't we remove him from the rotating turntable so we can take a closer look at all that amazing sculpted detail. All right, guys, so here we have him up close to the camera. But before we take a look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at Mjolnir. Now, as you can see, my Mjolnir came a little bent in package. Nothing a little heat can't fix. Just hit it with a source of heat from a blow dryer or something, and it'll strain right out. But as you can see, even Mjolnir has some amazing stone detailing in it. You have some cracks, some crevices, some black wash overall, just to really bring out those cracks and crevices. A separate piece right here, as you can see, or what looks to be a separate piece that should be connected to the handle and not part of the actual stone hammer itself. Uh, some nice clean lines in the actual... Uh, molding of this uh, hammer so yeah super awesome and they even attach that little uh, you know leather strap that he has on the end so that he can hold on to it with his wrist so all in all such a great and phenomenally detailed Mjolnir I uh, just wish it was a little straighter but like I said nothing a little heat can't fix so with that being said why don't we go ahead and take a look at Thor himself now this is based off his comic book version so this does not have a likeness to Chris Hemsworth so uh, yeah that's why it doesn't look like him uh, but Aside from that, it is still a phenomenal figure. This is very classic Thor, and I absolutely love the sculpted detail in his armor uh, plating. As you can see, there's a lot of little intricate lines and details in that. A lot of little intricate lines in his actual uh, leather suit right here. As you can see, there's a lot of wrinkles and stuff to make it really look uh, like that leathery material that it is. Um, some really good wash and scratches on his uh, metal pieces right here. Um, I don't really know what they're called, buttons, I guess. But once again, moving down towards his legs, we do get that sculpted detailing from the armor right there as well. And we do have some nice sculpted boots right there. Uh, turning them around to the cape. The cape, although it is a hard shell plastic, it is very well nicely done in detail with some nice folds and wrinkles. Really add some flowiness to it. I really do like the head sculpt that he does come with. It is very, very much classic Thor even down to the eyebrows that are blonded out, much like they did to Chris Hemsworth in that first Thor movie, which they quickly realized was not a good call. And that's why after that, he never had blonde eyebrows after that movie because it just did not look good on him. Uh, he does come with that classic Thor helmet right there with the wings and of course the classic blonde hair. So yeah, all in all, a phenomenally sculpted figure with a bunch of great detailing in the armor and all over its costume. Uh, but with that being said, why don't we go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation. He will look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. His hair does not get in the way right there. He will look down that far. He will not look up. 
too far because that is when the hair gets in the way and it prevents him from looking upwards. His arms will go out to a T pose. 360 rotation at that shoulder, no butterfly joint, no bicep swivel, single hinge elbow that allows him to go 90 degrees with the swivel at that elbow, rotation at the wrist, no hinging on that peg. He does have rotation at the waist right there, no ab crunch down or back. Taking a look at his leg articulation, he will, let's see how far he will be willing to kick out. Gotta finesse it a bit, move him around, but he will only kick out that far so unfortunately he cannot join the cheerleading squad he will kick out that far but when you kick him out it tends to kind of kick the leg literally outwards instead of forward so if you want the knee to be straight you just rotate it at the knee right there and then he has a better uh looking leg right there than he does when it's rotated outwards so we do get a single hinge knee that goes that far and we do get rotation at that knee right there as well taking a look at his ankles they will go down that far they will go up that far, and there is no ball rocker hinge. So that wraps it up for this guy's articulation. All right, guys. So that has been my review of the Diamond Select Marvel Select comic book Thor figure. Let me know down in the comments below what did you think of this figure. And if you've made it this far, type down in the comments below. God of Thunder. That way, I know you made it this far and you're enjoying the content. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that I took of this guy. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great fucking day.